Hey everyone and welcome back to the Knowledge World video series. Now after a month of intensive efforts, we are back with a brand new course, this time about the AWS Solutions Architect Professional. Now maintaining our great learning standards that we have been following through so many courses, even in the Solutions Architect Professional, our standards will remain the same, which is learning. So the, our primary aim is always learning and that's why we have been giving more emphasis on learning in depth about the concepts and the topics that we'll be covering throughout the course. Now one of the examples that I can give you is of the topic of federation uh, which is part of this certification. Now, as far as exams are concerned, you might just have to go through a single lecture about 15 to 20 minutes, which would suffice the exam requirement. But that will actually not teach you any practical or it will not give you any knowledge related to how it really works behind the scenes. And this is the reason why uh, if you look into a lecture series of Federation, we go ahead and understand Federation as a high level overview. Then we go ahead and understand about SAML, which is used for single sign-on. After that, we go into more depth where we basically capture the SAML assertion packets with a tool called as Tracer. Then we go ahead and establish the trust between a IDP and the service provider. And once we Till this lecture, we actually have implemented the entire single sign-on solution with AWS. And at last, we look into various identity providers which will be suitable for you in your organization. Now, if you follow this approach, not only it will help you in your certification, but it will also help you in implementing great new technologies in your organization and it will also definitely help you when you switch to a newer job and this learning is something which is really great so uh, this was just one example we tried and follow uh, this uh, style of learning across all of our lectures so because of these learning standards we have been uh, reaching the best selling uh, across many of the online platforms just uh, one of the last course which was Certified Solutions Architect, it has already reached uh, best selling within three weeks. So I really appreciate the efforts that uh, everyone has given. So coming back to uh, what we are going to cover in this course, basically we'll be covering all the domains which are required for the Solutions Architect professional exams. and. One thing that we have uh, already discussed that we'll maintain a great balance between theoretical and the practical aspects so that not only you can complete the certification, but you will be having something to take for in implementing new technologies within your organization. So currently there are eight domains within the CSA professional exams. Uh, the first starts with high availability and business continuity. So this is where we actually discuss about the disaster recovery techniques. Then you have costing, you have deployment management where you have elastic beanstalk, you have ops works, you also have uh, basics introduction about Docker and Docker containerization. Then you have uh, network design where you have VPC peering, direct connect, VPNs and similar. You have data storage, you have security. This is one of the very uh, great sections that I really like. This is where we are actually going to go ahead and implement a single sign-on solution. We also have great lectures about the delegations, cross account roles and many more. We have scalability and elasticity where we speak about SQS, Kinesis, DynamoDB and also about cloud migration and hybrid architecture. Last but not the least, we have great exam preparation section on the way, uh, which will help you understand on how uh, you can prepare for the exams to score a right and a very nice marks. So uh, this is the high level overview about the things that we are going to cover in this 
course. So I'm very excited uh, because we have actually spent a lot of time uh, developing this course and it has already reached more than 15 hours and it might soon reach 20 hours. So uh, this is it about this introductory lecture. I hope this has been informative for you. And again, if you want to connect, if you want to have some discussion related to career, I'm more than happy to help you. Feel free to connect us at Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn or the most preferred and direct way is mail us at instructors at the rate kplabs.in. Thanks for watching and I look forward to see you aboard.